what we'll be learning about today. We'll be learning who is Mr. Connor, what is a force, and where are forces. These are the three things we're going to learn today. Okay, let's start off with who is Mr. Connor. I am from, Mr. Connor's from the USA or America. I will be teaching you guys science, math and science. Okay. I have, I like these are hobbies. These are things I like to do. I like to drink coffee. I love to drink coffee. Okay. And I love to go hiking. I've gone rock climbing in Vietnam. This is a picture of Mr. Connor rock climbing in Vietnam. Okay, so rules. Leo, what is a rule for online? Leo. Don't turn the camera on. Uh, uh, off. Off. Yeah, don't turn the camera off. Good job, Leo. Okay, who has another rule? Who remembers another rule? Thomas. Teacher, call. Listen to the teacher. Very good. Remember, it's not very nice to talk while someone else is talking. Okay, Tiger, what's another rule? Sit nicely. To sit nicely. Okay, very good. Make sure you're not running around or... Okay. Well, I muted myself there. Okay, Tony, do you have another rule? Raise the hands and wait for teachers to come. If you have a question, what do you do? Okay. Uh, two in, two in. Um, we need to raise a hand. Yeah, raise your hand. Very good. Guys, if you have a question, you can actually unmute yourself and say question. You can say question. And then I can choose to answer your question or not. Just, okay, let's go over some of Mr. Connor's rules that he has mentioned. Rule number one. Someone mentioned this. Always have your camera on. Okay. Rule number two. Turn in your homework before class. And rule number three. I will call on students at random. So I might call on you if you have your hand raised, but make sure but make sure you're always paying attention because I will call on you at random. Now, we're gonna go straight into teaching, okay? So we're gonna go straight into our book. I will show you your book real quick. We're gonna be learning about forces. What are forces? And you can see there's a few kids playing football or soccer. Um, and yeah, this is your book. I will be teaching you from your book, but you don't have to have your book. No worries. I will put your book in the PowerPoint. I'll make sure to put your book in the PowerPoint. But this is what we'll be learning about in the next few days. Okay. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. All this stuff is from your book. So what are forces? Does anyone have a guess? of what a force is. What is a force? Tony, what do you think a force is? Uh, I think a force is a, a, thing, a thing that uh, push or pull something. Oh, that's really good, Tony. Tony has it. A force is a push or a pull. I'll give you guys some examples. That was a really good job, Tony. Good job. That was amazing. These are some types of forces. We have friction force, gravity. You guys know what gravity is. What does gravity do? Who can tell me what gravity does? Let me call on someone random. Lion. Lion, what does gravity do? Um. If I hold my wallet, this is my wallet. If I let go of it, what will gravity do? What will happen to my wallet if I let go? Susie? The wallet will fall down. Okay, it let's will... test. 
Yep, it fell down because of gravity. If Mr. Connor, watch Mr. Connor, if I jump. Gravity will bring me down. Gravity is why we can sit in a chair. It makes it so we don't fly all over the place. Okay, so there's applied force, something called spring force. This is how your pens work. A lot of your pens, if you open them up, they have a spring inside. They use the spring to push the pen open. Drag force, normal force, magnetic force, electric force. There's tons of types of forces, but today we're just gonna be learning what a force is. What is a force? Because you use forces every day, all day. Use forces to play football. You use forces to dance. Use forces for almost everything, to get to your fridge, to open your fridge, to close a door, to open a door, okay? Use forces all the time. You use forces all the time. Let's read, let's do a little bit of reading. We can read what a force is, okay? Let's read about a force. I, Mr. Connor, will read the first paragraph and then you guys will read the second paragraph. So forces everywhere. You have probably made a swing, a swing move. How does a swing move when you push it? How does it move when you pull it? Okay, okay, let's read this. Let's read the paragraph together now. Let's read the first sentence. A swing, let's have someone read the first sentence. Let's have Robert, can you read the first sentence? A swing move because a force acts on it. Very a good. A push or a pull. Oh. When you push or pull the swing, you add a force that makes the swing move. Very good. You're only supposed to read the first sentence, but very good. A swing moves because a force acts on it. When you want an object to move, you have to use a force. You have to use a force. When you want an object like a swing, to move. Let's read the second sentence together. Why is, but before we read the sentence, why is the word force yellow? Why is the word force yellow? It is a vocab word. So let's read the sentence together with our vocab word. You can read as loud as you want. You guys can read as loud as you want. Everyone can unmute. Everyone can unmute. Let's read our vocab word together. In three, two, one, go. A force is a push or a Okay, so a force is a push or a pull. A force is a push or a pull. Okay, let's read. Okay, so when you wanna swing on a swing, someone either has to push or pull you. Someone can push or pull you, okay? Let's read the last sentence, the last sentence. Let's have, um, is Ben there? Ben. Or pull a moving string. You can make it move more even stop. Very good. Okay, so guys, just remember a force is a push or a pull. Yeah. Okay, so what makes a swing start or stop moving? What answer would you write? What answer would you write? What makes a swing stop or start moving? What would cause the swing to start or stop moving? A what? A what? Everyone in three, two, one, everyone. A, 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 a force. 
It's not a rope. It is a force. The rope holds the swing, but the force allows you to swing on the rope. What do you guys think humans used to swing on before we had swings? What do you guys think the first swings were made out of? Does anyone have a guess what the first swings were made out of before we had rope and plastic and metal? What do you guys think the first swings were made out of? Leo? I think it is made out of wood and vines. <laughs> exactly. Wood and vines. Like Tarzan, like how Tarzan used to swing on vines. Very good. Okay, let's continue our reading and then we'll play a game. Let's continue our reading and then we'll have a game. Raikou, can you please read the first sentence? Hi, my name is Riku, not Raikou. Okay, Riku. Hi, Riku. Can you read the first sentence? Uh, when you pour something, you use force to move it to work. You. Thank you. Think about a fridge. Think about your fridge. When you want food, you have to pull your fridge open. You have to pull the door towards you. Okay. How about Nick? Can you read the second sentence? Nick, read the second sentence. When you push something, you... Use force to move it away from you. What is something you would push, Nick? What is something that you would push? I would push a door. A door. Very good. You gotta push a door open. Let's read the third sentence. Let's have Tony. Can you read the third sentence? You might pull a closed door to work. Okay. Very good. And then let's have Perry. Perry, can you read the next sentence? And you push, push the door away from you to close it again. Okay. And then our last sentence, our last sentence. Lily, can you read our last sentence? Very good. It's our arms. We use our arms to push and pull, okay? You can also use your feet. You can use your whole body to do to apply forces to different things. Okay, so we're gonna play a slight game. We're gonna just choose push, or you have to choose pull. If you think it's push, I want you guys to yell push. If you guys think it is pull, I would like you guys to yell pull. Okay, so you guys yell push or pull. I'm gonna give you guys different pictures, and you guys should yell push or pull. Okay, but make sure you guys only yell it once. Only yell push or pull once, okay? You only get one try. We'll see who can get these correct. We'll see who can get these correct. Let's start off with this one. If you said pull, you got it correct. If you said pull, you got it correct. Okay? Push is correct. Good job, guys. This is the harder one. Yeah, this is a pull up. This is a pull up. This is a pull up. Very good. Oh, I heard one push. I almost heard one push. This is pull. This is pull. Very good. 
Push! 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 You guys are too good at this. What I'd like you guys to notice, what I would like you guys to notice is the arrow. I muted everyone for now. I muted everyone for now. I want you guys to look at the arrow. What do you guys think the arrow means? Why is there an arrow? What? What word oh, is that? I know the answer. Susie, what word is that? That word is direction. Yeah. It's the direction of the force. Good job, Susie. Okay, because if we look at our older picture, let me go back real quick. Oh, let me clear that real quick. Disable. Okay, if we look at our picture real quick, the arrow's pushing, pull, uh, is pointing the other way because we're pulling it backwards. The force is moving backwards. The force is moving backwards. This box is going to move backwards. OK. Let's continue our game. Oh, I'm going to unmute everyone. What is this? Very good. And our arrow would go this way. Very good. OK. Let's do this again. Let's do our next one. I heard a pull, but yes, this is a push. This is a push. 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 This is a push. I'm going to enable annotation. Do you guys think you guys could draw the arrow for this one? Let's see if you guys can draw the arrow for this one. In three, two, one, go. Draw oh, an arrow. I cannot draw. You should be able to draw now. Good job. That is the direction of the force. That is the direction of the force. Very good. Well, that's a lot of arrows. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, everyone. Okay, that's a push. Oh, we have a hard one. Make sure to not unmute. I'm going to call on someone for this one. What are these objects called? What are these objects called? Um, let me call on someone new. Can't see your full name, but Nugen Hong? Nugen? What's your name? My name is Kat. Cat. Okay. Cat. What, what, what are these objects? Magnet. Exactly. And what do you guys think they're doing? Are they pushing or pulling? This is going to be a hard push, one. Push, push, push. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's have... Is it Riku? Is it I think it is... Pull. Okay. If you said, guys, if you think it's a pull, you're correct. These magnets are pulling on each other. Magnets, they like to attract each other. They like to attract each other, especially when the colors are opposite. Red is attracted to blue, so they pull on each other until they touch. They pull on each other until they touch. We have another magnet here. What do you guys think this magnet is doing to the other? I'm going to unmute everyone for this. What do you guys think this one is doing? A push, push or a push, pull? Push, 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 push. Yeah, they're pushing away from each other. I'm sure you guys have used magnets before. Magnets either want to pull, pull together push, push, or magnets love to push, push away. Push, yeah, this push, one is pushing away. Push. If you guys notice, the colors are the same. When the colors are the same, they like to push each other away. When the colors are the same, they like to push each other away. And magnets, the cool thing about magnets is they don't have to touch each other to apply a force. They can push on each other 
and pull on each other without touching. Most other things have to be touched. If I want to throw my wallet, I have to touch it. I have to touch it. Okay. If you want to open your fridge, you have to touch it. But like in Star Wars, like in Star Wars, when they use the force to choke someone or pick something up, they don't have to touch it. That's a different type of force, like a magnet. Okay. This is a push. Okay. Let's see if you guys remember what we have learned today. What is a force? A force is two different types of things. It is a blank and a blank. What is a force? Who remembers the vocab word? Let me go up here a little bit. Thomas, what is a force? Force is a push or pull. Exactly. Can we all, I'm going to unmute everyone. Let's say a force is a push or pull. Everyone in three, two, one. A force is a push or pull. It's a push is a pull. Question. Yes, what's your question? Um, is a throw a push? Yeah, you could say a, a, a throw is a push, yes. That's a very good question. And where are forces, do you guys think? Where are forces? Good? I heard someone say it. Let's all say it together. Forces are? All forces are everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're all around you. You use forces all day. The reason why you guys eat food is to have energy to use forces. So your homework, your homework, this is your homework now. I would like you guys to observe your family, watch your family, watch your brother, watch your sister, your mom, your dad. I want you to watch them and write down three examples of an object that you see pushed or pulled. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you watch your dad open the fridge, okay? You could write the sentence down, my dad pulled open the fridge. And that's all you have to do. All you need to do is find three examples of when your family pushes something or pulled something, okay? It could be a ball, a fridge door. You could talk about gravity, okay? Maybe one of your parents falls or maybe one of your brothers and sister falls. You could talk about your brother or sister falling to the ground, okay? You can use any examples of force that you want. And remember, they're all around you. And make sure to use full, and complete sentences. So make sure you guys write a full sentence. It's okay if your example is more than one sentence, but I would like everyone to write at least three sentences for homework of something that you see pushed or pulled. When we send you guys the PowerPoint, I just wanna let you guys know, I did put a fun video in the end of the PowerPoint if you wanna watch this on YouTube at home. This will talk about forces, okay? It's a fun video about forces. But you guys can watch this at home. Watching this is not homework. You can do it for fun once you get the PowerPoint, okay? But that is it. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye, everyone.